On a worldwide basis, communication CEOs are actually more confident about the company's prospects for revenue growth in the next 12 months when you actually compare the 2013 results to the 2012 results. And I think quite an important trend is that a staggering 90% of the communication CEOs are either very confident or somewhat confident about the company's growth prospects in the next, in the next 12 months. It's, it's interesting to note that if you go and look at the views of the communication CEOs and their confidence in terms of revenue growth over the next 12 months, that's 44% of the CEOs are actually very confident. Um, that compares to 39% of the CEOs on a, on a global basis, and that uh, contrasts with the South African CEOs' views, where 25% of the CEOs actually believe that there's going to be revenue growth um, in their businesses over the next 12, over the next 12 months. If we actually break this out a bit further and we, and we measure confidence levels by aggregating the two buckets, that are two buckets in the analysis, i.e. those CEOs that are very confident, we add that to those that are actually somewhat confident to get to an overall confidence level. It's actually interesting to note that if you go and look at the communication CEO's views, 72% of the, of the communication CEOs are actually confident about revenue growth in the next 12 months, and that stacks up to 85% glo on a global basis, and that compares well to on a South African basis where it actually sits at, at 80%. If we actually expand this window of, of forecasting revenue growth from a 12-month period to a three-year period, in other words, we actually stretch it out to 2017, it's actually Quite an interesting point to note that um, in the next 12 months, the, the, the communication CEOs were looking at around about a 72% confidence level. And as I mentioned, if you push that out to three years, that actually goes up to a 90% confidence level in terms of revenue growth over the next three years. If we just stack that up to the South African indicator, from a South African perspective, 87% of the CEOs are actually somewhat confident or very confident in terms of uh, revenue growth over the next three years. And on a global basis, the comparable numbers actually sitting at 92%. So the, the key trend is that there's definitely some confidence levels in terms of revenue growth over the next 12 months, but when you push that out over a three-year cycle, it actually becomes a lot stronger. Where's this growth actually going to come from? And if you actually look at the slide that I've got on, up on the screen, it's quite an interesting, interesting to note that if you go and look at the views from communication CEOs, 41% of those CEOs I actually believe that the growth will come from product or service innovation, and that actually stacks up to 35% number on a global basis. The second trend or the second, um, second area where growth will come from is actually specifically as it relates to the increased share in existing markets, in other words, growing market share, where from a global perspective it's sitting at 30% and the communications CEO perspective sitting at 18%. Now, when you look at this, it might seem that they're actually quite disparate, but it may make sense to actually combi combine those two categories because in some cases, the CEOs may believe that the strategy for actually increasing the market share lies exactly in, the, in their product and their service innovation. And if we actually aggregate those two categories and we can compare those to each other, the overall sample sits at 65%, whereas in South Africa, it compares a lot better Apologies. So on an overall basis, it sits at 65%. However, from a communications industry perspective, it actually sits at 60%, which is a lot more comparable. When you move to the South African market, a third of the South African CEOs are actually optimistic about growth in new geographic markets and about increasing market share, with only 24% of the South African CEOs believing or supporting the innovation growth, growth criteria. So, from a South African perspective, there's less of a focus on innovation and more of a focus in terms of entering into, into new markets.